All right, what's up, guys? Sorry there was no video earlier. I had some stuff to do in Boston. It was kind of good, though, because there's only like five or six baseball games today. Nigel, do you see that? Yeah, it's a light day, both MLB and NBA. You know what that means, though? We're going to go so heavy tomorrow in the Thunderdome. Eli, oh, excuse me, and Jerry, Paranormal Betch, you know him? Yeah. He's in. So it's going to be me versus Eli versus Jerry. I'm going to beat the hell out of Eli. I mean, it, <laughs> dude, he won one time, and he's already, like, taking big shots. And he won, like, a women's UFC fight. Like, yeah. not that I'm putting down women's sports. I'm just saying, like, you just don't see a lot of guys come in and, and bet women's sports. That's all I was saying. But, yeah. No, Tim, I didn't shovel, bro. Dude, it's going to be – dude, it's going to be, like, 60 in, like, a couple days probably. You don't shovel spring snow. It melts the next day. No, it's Before just going to melt all, all on its own. What's up? Um, what's up, Jeff? Wait, you need a tax guy? What, did you win something? They take the money right out on FanDuel, bro. Ask Nigel and me. Yeah. They just took it right out. But you're actually – you're still supposed to declare it for your state. Oh, that's bullshit. They I'm just not. take the federal taxes out. Well, I'm not. Watch. <laughs> Don't – you know the stream's public, Slop. Slop, you are no, 100% doing it. You are a man gotta of the law. You're a man they of the gotta law. Come get it. They, <laughs> they have to send someone to my house, and I will give it to them. How about that? I think you're forgetting what's – All right, Sean, it. what's up? Ryan, dude, you're right. I was already – right before the show, I was looking at pictures for tomorrow, and I'm telling you right now, it's on. You made me hella bread the last two days. Dude, it was Odds Jam and like a little bit of me. How about that? Jack, all right. So were you the same guy saying uh, Jesus Sanchez? Because another guy was saying Jesus Sanchez, and I I think maybe we do that. Um, all right, Daquan, happy birthday, man. We should hit big. In Canada, no tax on bet. Wow. N Nigel, is that is that true? Is what Jason Hawkins is saying that's true? I'm guessing he's from Canada, so I'm likely to believe him. Wow, oh, because, like, no, that was, like, the one thing that I've ever thought, like, Canada was better than us for. Well, and like, seriously, I was like, wow. Like, there was, like, a list, and it was, like, empty. It said, list of stuff Canada's better than the U.S. for. And there was nothing on that list until now. I mean, they get free health care, That's too. awesome. That's probably up there. Yeah, but, like, how good is that health care? <laughs> like, how do the we best know? Jason. At Jason, how good's the healthcare? Like legit, like when you go to the doctor, they they know what they're talking about, or is it like a vet that you go to or something? <laughs> You're saying that. like, like we didn't say it was gonna be a human doctor, <laughs> but like, you know what I mean though. Like every time I hear free healthcare, I'm like, yeah, how good is it? All right, so we got rolled up on somehow last night. Um. Wow, so that is true. And no offense. Oh, well, Canadian strip clubs are good, too. All right, Jeff. We'll, we'll let Jeff be the um, arbiter of that one. All right, so all right, so we're uh, write down Jesus Sanchez and put that in your pocket until the end, Nigel. We got to figure out what happened yesterday because it says the, the tool lost $213 or $232. But I thought we had a good day. But I guess we didn't. I think the um, quick, quickly one was a big one, wasn't it? That lost. Yeah. No more betting on the Raptors. Yeah, so, just no more. All right. Yeah, they're done. They're all right. Tanked. So the healthcare is good. No, I wasn't saying you're gonna go to a vet. I'm just saying, like, sometimes whenever I hear free, think about whenever you hear free, you're like, yeah, but is it good? That's because we're from you know America I mean? slop where you're supposed to pay for everything. So when other countries are like, no, it's free, you're immediately skeptical. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Like, you got some free shit in the United States. Like usually <laughs> It's not that good. Like, there's something. Nothing's free. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, anyways. Um, tennis is life. Dude, there is, there's literally no pitcher that we can responsibly bet on today unless we're taking unders. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not – I don't want to take someone's under yet. Like, I'm not ready for that. Like, I think that's more of like a late April, early May thing. Like, right now, we're, we need ceiling outcomes – and I think we're going to get them tomorrow. I, I know that doesn't help us today, but we still got NBA, and we could probably put together a little dinger parlay. So, you know, whatever. 
All right. Anyways, oh wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Super Sit Rep has a uh, has a scam. I saw that based slop. Is that good? Based? Yes. I don't know what that means. means oh, that like is good. Tr- means like you're the truth, the real thing. Okay. Nice. Thanks, Dave. Gentile. Nice. Um, one of my friends made a ton of money flipping insulin he bought in Canada and smuggled it there. But that's now that's what I'm talking about. We need to get an insulin game, Nigel. There's no taxes <laughs> up there. We can get some insulin. Well, that was the old thing. We used to go to Mexico. People, you buy all the drugs see, there over the counter. Okay. We see people sell it too. Hey, we get gift cards when we come back in. I oh, just got to walk. You just can't drive back. I recommend comments. All right. I got to get going. Sorry, guys. My bad. My bad. I'm reading the chat, man. The chat in here is always legit. Like, I wouldn't be surprised that people weren't like muting the um, live stream and just reading the chat. It's, Dude, you got all kinds of stuff in there. You got a whole insulin scam going on. <laughs> all right. Um, the Nationals game I was thinking was um I Arakeem. Arakeem, I was thinking, what's up, JM NYC? But uh the the wind is like blowing in from left field at like 17 miles per hour. I almost put together a no home run parlay, but I wasn't, I'm not that like into it. So Brandon Miller sold Ryan Rupert. That was probably a dumb, but I knew when I was putting that in. But I, I got I got caught up with the plus one eighty. Like, you, what do you want me to do? Jabari Walker's rebounds was legit, but we only put I I guess what the tool said fifty bucks maybe on it. That was like a first and half had, dash. Yeah, he had twenty two rebounds. We had yeah. him over. Um, Dejounte Murray he got home. Um, Gringo, what's up? What's up, Tennis Life? Yeah, Jack got a home run, man. So that was Otani. We knew he was due. Yeah, I we should have had Jack. I, I think we should go with our guys. Like we should. We talked about this last year. Was not even going on matchups and everything like that. We just get a group of guys, and that's who we parlay. Whenever they, you know, you know what I'm saying, like they, yeah. they are full of dudes, and just whenever they all play together, if they're playing, they're in the parlay. I think that would work, man. Because if we go back through the data. I don't know if we got any like data guys in here, but go back through and find out what if there was any days where like certain dudes all homered on the same day. I bet you there's there's you know, situations where if you have a small enough group, I'm saying like seven or eight guys, and they all played on the same day. I bet you there's multiple times in the season where they all homered. Yeah, Davis. I was gonna say Gallo. But I was also talking strikeout too. He he's the ultimate. Like you can take him to hit a home run or strike out. Yeah, we lost it all on quickly. Just looking at it, it was three hundred bucks. Oh, okay. All right. So okay. So quickly we had three hundred and ten dollars on somehow. Okay. Yeah, O'Neill Cruz. But yeah, that one's he's a lefty, so it's gonna go to right field. So. That's not that bad. It, I think it's blowing in from left field, so he could actually. I don't think he gets really a boost from that, but could send one foul though. That's like that yeah, time. that would suck. Yeah, but he hits it so hard, probably. All right, so there it is, chat. Right there, quickly was the. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean back a little bit. Quickly was what happened. So I was thinking. I thought we had like a decent little day going, but yeah, apparently. The, the um tool wanted 310 on that which i don't think i could have even gotten 310 down in my defense but i'm not betting any <laughs> raptors overs for the rest of the year if an under comes up i'll bet it but they're clearly Durant's assist there, under three and a half that sucked look at that you see that yeah i watched that game mike i can't get that stuff from eli eli won on the thunderdome last week so all he's doing is just talking trash i it's not i can't even like talk to the guy so I'll be able to talk to him again once I beat him tomorrow. Or if Jerry beats him, it, just as long as someone beats him. But he's going to come in with those little minus 115, plus 110 bets. And it's like, dude, I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's I, I think that's so dumb to have, like, all your bets be, like, minus 115, minus 110, minus one. You know what I mean? Like, like, mix them in. But, like, that can't be, like, what you're doing. Do you know what I'm saying, Nigel? Yeah, I mean he he has a that's his strategy. I think it's weak. All right, let's go. All right, so we're at the tool now. They they switched it around again. 
I'm not saying that I hate it. I'm just saying that it's different, and I hate when stuff changes. Just because I'm getting older. Every one of you guys, you guys are going to be the exact same way when you get my age. So don't hate. I'm just saying you're, you're just going to see something different and be like, yeah, this sucks. Even though it's probably better. Like every time they change it, it's always better like a week later. But the first day I hate it every time. It never fails. All right, let's go bogey over three and a half assists minus 105 at BetMGM. All right, that's $45 is what they're saying to bet on that. So that's probably – it's right in my wheelhouse. Where is that? Still be there. I'm going to actually bet that myself. I need bets because I don't have anything today. Uh, My bad. I have BAM. (laughs) The Draymond punch prop. That's coming. I think that's more plus for the playoffs. Who are they playing? Who? The Warriors. Oh, the Rockets? Oh, him and Dylan Brooks. That's an easy one. Yeah. Um, you're gonna see these. I'm kind of scared of these guys. Under four and a half. I mean, that can happen. Ryan Weathers is not a strikeout guy at got, all. Do you see I got burned on Musgrove yesterday? Slopped last pitch. Hit is over. Oh man. How many did he end up with? Uh seven, I think, because I had under six and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, when you were texting me in the morning, I was like, I, I'm not taking that under, but I ain't taking that over either. So I was that. It's Musgrove. Like, they they got him. We talked about this the other day. They have him priced right. Like, they know him. Like, there's certain dudes that they, they just know. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's – and it's probably not going to change. Unless they add a new pitch or something like that, then it's always going to be that way. Well, the under, remember I sent to you, was like – it was like minus 170 everywhere. Except for Bat Rivers, it was like minus one fifteen. So everyone thought okay. he was going under. But Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I like that's the thing though. I got bowling tonight, Jeff. Big night, buddy. I'll be looking even worse tomorrow. <laughs> um what else? Draymond Under is on the board of oh, very little percent. Yeah, Gringo Reagans came through. I mean, I here's the thing though, that would have been a crime if he didn't get to seven because he was dealing. Like, I mean, it was he was so good, but he had six, you know, and then he got I think he was one two to the um the second to last batter he faced and then walked almost like dude, this ain't good. But I mean, whatever. Um, what do we got? We need more, though. We can't just be rolling in with a bogey over four assists or four plus assists. And uh, Dream or not Draymond, um, Bam Adebayo. He's on Twitter. That the one earlier today. Did you see him over three and a half assists? Yeah. Did you? Oh, All yeah. right. We'll, we'll hit the button a few times. Start thinking about who you guys want for dingers. How many games are there that are not actually going on right now? <laughs> I don't know. And the wind is bad at a lot of places. So we, we might be kind of struggling. Like, I don't I would say definitely be ready for um, Thunderdome tomorrow. Let, like, we'll, we'll go in here tonight, get a few bets. And don't be wrong. Like, we're not going to not gamble, but. So yeah, only Jared one game tonight. There's oh, only really? One, yeah, there's two games starting right now. There's just one game tonight. Tim, my unit amount is like a hundred bucks. Like that's what I bet. But the problem is I've been switching it up because I've been using odds jam. So I just go by the bet, the recommended bet size. So sometimes I end up with um oh thank you. Sometimes I end up with you know more than that. And I hate it though. I don't like having more than a hundred bucks on the game. Even if I like the bet. All right, let's go with this one. How about that? Keon Ellis under three and a half rebounds, plus 120 at ESPN bet. He ain't getting four rebounds. Oh, that's a good like five two. Barely plays. They're playing the Knicks. Yeah, see, we got nah Matthew Trent ain't gonna come on. Not yet. He'll be on one day. I like him. Like he likes to party. That's why I don't understand why he don't want to come in the Thunderdome, but Corey Lee home run. Holy crap, Montana. Really? 
I mean, I'm not saying no, but like, wow. Bullpen rotation for yeah, no. Um I, I don't know about bullpens. Like I have no idea how we actually figure out who's available. Like yeah. Your screen froze. The software froze again? It's back. <laughs> oh, it's back now. I mean, I, I don't I would definitely pay if there was a site that had like who was available. Cause then you could just go righty lefty and kind of figure out like which guy you might see, which guy you might not see. Even then I think we're overthinking it. Let's just get a pool of like our guys. It's like circle of trust guys. And then that's it. They delayed this nationals game. So if you wanted to get something in, I would go no home run and then just pick a bunch of like right handers. They're not hitting home runs today, dude. Uh, Cabrian Hayes, he ain't going deep. I'm trying to think, there was another guy, Reynolds. Like he's not hitting a home run. All the righties, like none of those dudes are hitting home runs. I don't know, SGC Rage. If you find a link, dude, will you send it to me? Like uh, DM me on Twitter. Oh, uh, Keon starting. That's how much I've been paying attention to the. Kings basketball. How is he starting over who? Oh, Herder's out, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He ain't getting four rebounds, dude. Fox under points. Yeah, I don't like doing all that. I'm a Fox you, guy. I thought you love minus 110 at MGM. So that's your I do, house. but not under. Like, I'm a, I mean, I mean De'Aaron Fox, not Fox News. But, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to take his – you want to do that? All right, let's go. Under <laughs> Dan Fox, under 25 and a half, minus 110. That one's on me, guys. That's I talked at, him into it. Yeah, that's at BetMGM. So if that loses, just find Nigel on Twitter. Tell him what you think about him. Especially because I'm, I'm on his over. <laughs> oh, you got his over? Yeah, but it was a price thing. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm with you. Like, that's the that's the hardest thing to get used to. I think, I think the chat's going to get used to that, too. That, like... For any, I'll bet anything for the if the price is right. It's moving. I've already said. Up. What's up? Yeah, I know. I'd bet. Um, I'd bet Nigel to beat Usain Bolt in a foot race if if it, the price is right. I think we. That's the best example for pricing. That's the kind of what brought it home for me. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I guess price is right. Bob Barker like price brought it home for me. Makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. R.I.P. <laughs> I grew up on that guy. Is he still alive? No, nah, he's dead. He died. Yeah. Okay. Recently, yeah, there's no way. he lived a while. Yeah, I have. I, I'm i not good at, like, who's still alive. Yeah, me neither. Who died. Like, I, like um, someone was talking about Hammer and Hank Goldberg. And I was like, I wonder what he, like, is he still working? Like, he's been dead for, like, three or four years. So yeah, like, he oh. died a few years ago. Yeah. I always liked him. Did a lot for the uh, gambler uh, craft. All right, you guys want to go Draymond Green under 14 and a half rebounds plus assists. We can play that pretty much anywhere. Uh, that's minus 110. I bet you he gets in a fight and gets thrown out before he gets all that. It's a good call. Again, Dylan Brooks and him, like, how do they not fight? Oh, my bad. I'm doing all that whenever people are saying triple-double for Dreamo. Really? We want triple? Like, I, that could happen. I'm not saying it won't, but I'm just saying that's a decent price for under 14 and a half. Well, he's been putting up big numbers lately, so I guess that's where people are coming from. Okay. Yeah, see, super sick, right? I mean, we need way more. <laughs> we need way, way more. Um bets and i just don't have like look dude like it, they're asking for blocks like if you want to use this yourself this is odds jam it is uh the greatest pricing tool there is like i'll run it through what we're doing here i'm in thompson over one and a half steals plus 115 at bet mgm right it's minus 110 at fanatics minus 102 at fanduel minus 113 at caesars the no vig odds on this thing is plus 106 and they're giving us plus 115. So if there was no VIG, if there was just uh, straight up one-for-one one bets, 
you would still have an advantage. You'd have a 4.22% edge. So that's all Odd Jam does. It just scans the market and finds where, you know, books just have certain bets that are out of place. I mean, there's so many markets out there. They're, they're everywhere. Like there's like a million markets. So the lines get crossed up from time to time. And it, it happens a lot, actually, especially when there's a lot of sports going on. Well, here it is. And I mean, that this will disappear and another one will replace it. It'll, it just happens like this all day. I do this live stream. Well, we chose four o'clock for this live stream to just because it's it's the beginning of like the news for the night and stuff. Once news gets more concrete in NBA, this button just turns into like an ATM machine. Like it, it's it's stupid. If you want to try it yourself, try it and do it today at five forty-five. That's the time I would start hitting it. Just do it for an hour today, five forty-five to six forty-five, and watch. You'll you'll see what I'm, it's it's stupid. Like. The, the bets that come your way. The thing is, though, they're all plus EV. So you're just spraying the board, but with bets that have an edge. And that's why I like it so much. Like, that's why I actually use it. But, uh, yeah, links in the description, promo code SLOP. Try it. It's free for two weeks. So, like, you're not going to lose anything. You were going to be betting anyways. So you're not going to pay anything for the tool. Yeah. It's S legit. SGC Rage, that's correct. Yeah, the algo, the odds jam algo odds in the sports screen are the same as the no big odds. It's just odd jam's algorithm calculating what the odds should be based upon what all the books are saying. So you all, we've all heard the books always win, right? Well, if that's true, if you really believe that, then why not use their data against them? Because all these other books are saying this and here it is at DraftKings, ESPN, and Bet on or BetMGM. The three squares books on this board. Although that one, though, that this is all technical analysis. Fundamentally, that could be an overplay. So at that point, you would take uh, Draymond over 14 and a half plus 108 at FanDuel. If you if you fundamentally liked it the best, but I I don't ever do that to be honest with you. I just kind of stay away when I, when I see that. They don't – I don't know. Do they have Hard Rock, Nigel? Uh, Odd Jam? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. My bad. Pretty much every book that you've ever heard of in the U.S., they have. I can't think of one they don't. Eric Keem. Dude, I don't want to keep saying it, but, like, I am so happy about tomorrow night and this weekend. But I don't want to keep saying it because, like, we still have tonight to go through. But, dude, you're right. Like, every time you talk, I'm just like, look at this guy. He knows. To like, tomorrow is going to be probably the greatest day of our life because we're going to – we have definitely a strikeout parlay because there's plenty of good guys going, which is huge. I don't want that Fox under rebound. It's just like, let's see if we can get a bigger edge. 0.89 is not that big of an edge. Mm hmm. No, JMNYC, it is definitely like that. That could easily have. He could easily go over that. But just for what that price says, that's the only reason. Again, technical analysis, that's it. Ooh, see what I'm saying? You know, you know, we don't have a lot to bet on when Jeff is going under a half a three for somebody. I saw that. I was. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a over one and a half threes guy. I did double. Like, take. Yeah, and then like to say that, hey, I'm gonna go under one. Like, so you, I'm saying he's not gonna hit one. It get that's kind of sketchy to me. That that's how you know, man. You're not really dealing with the best night. You guys just want to see if we can throw a, a dinger parlay. Is there even games? There's one game. Jesus. Well, we did it last night. Almost yeah. hit two. We were only we were, we only needed four more guys. I thought it was two games last night. Yeah, we did, but I'm saying. We could technically, this this Pittsburgh, but you didn't want to do a home run in this game. Pittsburgh-Washington game's delayed, so. No one's hitting a home run in that game, I don't think. What about the Mets and Tigers? They started yet? Yeah. Um, Hang on. Let me see what we got. White Sox and Royals? That's that's the game that's tonight. That's 740. Yeah, it's the only one. And then the Nationals and Pirates. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right, dude. Yeah, so baseball's out. Let's go. Let want to go basketball then like damn like what do we do there's only five there but i don't know if this has ever happened before i don't think anyone's hitting a home run in the white Sox royals either 
You want to parlay no home runs? Ugh. On both games? <laughs> like both, like no home runs. Like that's the. Aren't you better off building a prize pick slip doing that, odds wise? Probably. So Winsky might hit a dinger. I yeah, a lefty could hit a dinger in that uh, what you call it? Pirates. I don't even know the weather in Washington. That game may not happen. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Davis found some, found a glitch. No home run hit parlayed with four total bases for Sawinski. Oh my god! Negative correlation. <laughs> no, we got it. That's the reverse. Remember, that's the football one. Yeah, the negative Connor correlation. Allen them, Connor Allen and them would love that. Oh my god, we got to find that out. You know he put one in the seats if we do that, but that's not bad, dude. A couple doubles. Two Sawinski double. I mean, the only problem is, isn't the – no, it's Josiah Gray, right? Yeah, so it is a righty. Dude, Jack might hit three home runs tonight. Well, we don't know that it's Josiah Gray. It depends how long they delay it. So. No, no, no. It will be. Dude, we just went through it yesterday. Yeah, but sometimes it's the delay. guys warm up. No, dude, they're they're come on. How many times that that I don't think that's ever happened. That's definitely happened. No, that's not a thing. All right, what you got to be worried about with pitchers and weather is if they actually start the game, which the Nationals will do. That they will start a game knowing damn well it's going to rain literally in a half hour. Like I've seen that. It was last year, Trevor Williams. We had that game. I was like, wait, you guys started. Like, I, you know what I'm trying to say? I thought since they started, we had, you know, at least four or five innings, and it didn't. We did not. I'm trying to find the weather there. All right. Yeah, you know what? We're getting home runs in the chat. I I think we should. You want to do a combo? We could do Jack to hit two, Jay Berger to hit two. What's that? That's when we take over. That would be so sweet if that happened. Do you imagine hitting that? Yeah. So Jack, wait, the Marlins are already playing. Yep, just started. Can we do that? Well, no, nah, we can only do play appearance now. You know, Jake's gonna hit two now. That sucks. He's definitely hitting two. Damn it. We're... Oh, Burgers not even playing. Who? Wait, wait, chat, come on. Precious, you know better than that. Bless you. Precious, how are you going to be like Jake Burgers hitting two and he's not even in the lineup? The, like, the game's on right now and he's not even playing. We got to be better than that. I was so excited, man. I thought we'd won. I, I really thought we'd already won. All right, who would hit two for the Royals? Could be the White Sox, too. I would say since Soroka's pitching, it's probably going to be a Royal. Oh, Berger already's on. So who's saying Berger's not playing today? We Chat. I thought you said it. It said it in the chat. It said literally like multiple people were like, Berger's not, not playing. We can't trust the chat, apparently. No, we got to be able to trust the chat. We have to be able to trust the chat. So no more of that chat. Come on. Yeah, Burger walk. Lock to in. The third. Lock in, guys. Yeah, Burger not playing. I'm not going to say who said it, but Burger not playing. And then someone else said, no, he's out. Come on, guys. All right. Whoa, whoa hey, we still got – let's go. Let's go. We still got the – um. The Royals game. So Jack's hitting two. We already figured that out. So now we just seen another guy to hit two. Who's hitting two from this game? Yeah, Sean, I won't lie to you. That Michael whatever, Garcia guy, for one, I thought he was the guy who used to play for the um, Phillies. It's not him. Different guy. I'd go Robert. Is that his name? No, I was saying hit two. Yeah, I don't think the one guy that could hit two today in that wind, I mean, it's blowing in like 11 and a half miles an hour, is it saying? Do we want to split up or do we want to have two twos? 
I'm getting one guy. We need line drive home run guys if it's that windy. Okay. We don't want towering. So Bobby guys. Witt, is that what we're saying? Bobby Witt? Luis Robert, people people agree with me. People like Luis Robert. I like him too. He, that's a big dude, man. I don't, the whole problem with Lugo is, like, do, is he a home run guy? Like, no one's really seen him before. Everybody, what do we know about Seth Lugo and home runs? I'm a strikeout guy. I know he doesn't strike people out I'll like that up. much. I got you. I think he's a home run guy. So last Just year. Four home runs and 11 innings pitched in the spring training. He gave up 19 home good. runs and 26 starts last year. How, no, no, how many innings? Don't do starts. He gave up 19 home runs and 146 innings. That's not that bad. That ain't good. What about, okay, Soroka? So he gave up four in the spring, though. I mean, he and he's only pitched once since then, so he's probably just dropping them right in, if I had to guess. Soroka only gave up one in the spring. If you're giving, basically, what I'm saying is if you're giving up home runs in the spring, like you're giving up home runs to bombs. You know what I mean? And that's no disrespect, but I'm just saying, like, these guys aren't even like major league baseball players. All right. So Soroka gave up nine home runs in 32 <laughs> innings last season. So he's a dinger guy. Michael Tape Measure Soroka. Okay. So both of these guys, are we saying that? Are we saying that um, we can do two guys that do home runs in this game? Lewis Robert can hit two, no doubt. That wouldn't be pretty. That would be a pretty good little hit right there. I Twenty-five bucks would give you forty-five thousand dollars. See if we can get a little parlay boost. Ah, uh, same game for me. Does um does any other book have two home runs that anyone knows of? I think it's clearing up in DC, so I would maybe not take too much time on this. Look, man, this is very important, Nigel. No, I'm just saying you don't want to lose right. Sawinski. We gotta get this right. I mean, yeah, I know he's hitting two. You I mean, I think Lewis Robert goes deep twice. I, I don't think there's a question in my mind that he does not hit two home runs today. It's just how much do we like it? I'd say twenty bucks. Thirty-six thousand when it when this happens, like that's a pretty good little hit, you know. That's not bad. I mean, it's good work if you can get it. I wonder what your MLB ROI would be after that, dude. Did you see that I'm a top five percent overall better on Picket now? That's on the planet, Nigel. We went through that before. Top five in MLB too. Yeah, it's gotta, crazy what a um ten dollars. $9,000 parlay win will do for you. You got to be like close to number one in MLB. It's getting there. Maybe this season. All right, so here's what it is. Yeah, they don't give us – JMMYC, they're not going to give us bonuses anymore. Okay, super sit rep. I like it. Royal play has to be Velasquez. There's a home run hit by – okay, okay, I like that. We got a very sharp chat, Nigel. Like that's the thing I like about this. Like, like sometimes I go into other betting chats, and man, the guys are. We get a little off the rails here. I mean, obviously we got Jeff here, but like at the same time, there's some sharp conversations going on. Like we need. That's what we need. You know what I mean? Like guys that come in and have good ideas. I think that's what separates now from like 20 years ago. There wasn't like YouTube, like live places where just gamblers could talk. Does that make sense? Oh, uh, well, outside of sports books, but yeah, no, I know what you mean. Well, no, they had forums, you know what I mean? Which was oh, you're cool, talking about online, gotcha. Yeah, it wasn't like this, like where you could just have like literally like 500 people communicating on what they like. It's It makes it, I don't know, man. I feel bad for the sports books now. It's tough to, tough to do it. Dude, that's hitting, bro. Jack's going to hit too. So is Robert. <laughs> Oh, we want that three-point parlay? I don't even know. Uh, G. Donovan saying that game doesn't start for 30 more minutes. I don't know. I mean, it was in rain delay. That would be hilarious. So whenever Jack comes up and hits his, like the, a bomb in his first at-bat, dude, wait. That'll get the blood pumping. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's right away. Like, last night, all right, so we had the uh, five-legger. 
uh, Alvarez homers in the first inning. The first, I'm just like right away. I'm just like, oh, here we go. Dude, we, I still need four more guys to hit home runs. Do you know what I'm saying? But I was like, oh, this is it. There's no better feeling than that, man. All right, hey, I got a little bit of extra time because like all the kids' sports got snow down, I guess. Of course, you have the extra time on a day where there's like four games. I know, I know. Ooh, wit for two. That ain't that ain't bad. That's a little same gamer. Ooh, the old three RBI. Yeah, 515. We got plenty of time. Watch Jack, dude. Jack's just gonna come in immediately and just start dropping bombs. I'm sure he hit one yesterday, didn't he? Yeah. So he's ready. He's an undercover, like hundred plus uh, EV guy. Exit think, velocity, EV exit velocity in this in this turn. I think like all the people we were talking about putting in that parlay and didn't do ended up hitting home runs. So that's just how close we were. Mm. We were right there. Yeah. Oh, I hate when it says that, NYC. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, yeah, no, I would pay for um, bullpen info, but it's tough to it's tough to figure out who the manager is going to go with. Like, I guess you can get tendencies, but man, you really got to lock in. Oh, dude, I almost forgot about that. Who just said that? Caden, you're awesome. That's smart. Real quick, like we'll do it real quick. Nigel, tell him like tell him something. I mean, I'm just, just trying to get a first at bat strikeout real quick. We can do that in the Pittsburgh Washington game, probably. So yeah, we'll be going. We got the Thunderdome tomorrow. That'll probably drop around noon. I think there's day baseball, so if any of those games are in there, I'll try to rush it out to make sure you guys can see it before those games start, obviously. And then uh, we'll be live at four. We got a, obviously a ton of action tomorrow, plus Final Four this weekend. Uh, I can get you some player props for that. I'll have those for the people who can bet them. So, yeah, it's going to be an exciting Friday. You still nice work, cool. Nigel. Okay. All right, so check it out. What if we don't have a pitcher strikeout, one? Like, there's, like, one game tonight. Um, I think we can go Michael Taylor. But, man, he's been kind of hitting the ball, which I, I hate when that happens. Small sample, though. Yeah, but sometimes stuff, like, clicks. It's, he's still kind of young. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, is he? Yeah, so it kind of, like, it's one of those things where is it – is he getting good or – you know what I'm saying? It's just Nah, he hasn't seen Josiah Gray ever. Let me just see one thing, and then I'll, I'll get us out. Yeah, he – Hang on, I'm almost there. How many at-bats does he have in his career? Um, I don't know. I like someone, top should of my do, head. someone should do research. Someone in the chat, find out when's, like, the line of when, like, a guy's had an X number of bats. Like, that's just who he is. There's never going to be any real deviation from there. I'd love to know that number. That could be useful. It could be. We could use that. Oh, he struck out three times yesterday. He's back. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Love this guy. Okay. We'll go Michael Taylor. Here's the thing, though. He's batting ninth. Let's watch this game. Okay. Not the game. Not the whole game. Let's see what Josiah Gray looks like. Because I'll be honest with you. He might not be in the game. Like, he, he's that type of pitcher. I'm dead serious. Like, by the time Michael Taylor comes up, to Taylor hits ninth. Josiah Gray gets wild, and that's that's my only issue with him. Unless it's – it's plus 230. We, we got to take that. We got to take the chance now. The lines will move. Who's Hera? We don't have him, right? Jesus. The Tigers game? Because I got the over two and a the half. Cardinals. Yeah, I think we take – I think we just take Taylor now. I mean, he's back. It's 2.30. Like, that's insane, dude. That is not even – how do you – how? Yeah, the Marlins are in shambles. Nigel cycling? Uh, yeah, we got Perry Roubaix. Uh I haven't looked at the odds yet, but Vanderpool, that's the easy pick. 
I kind of like O'Neill Cruz to hit a ding or two. Plus 700 in the first at bat. He hits first, too. So I wonder what the odds for first home run is. 600. So here's the thing to hit first home run, I guess. I guess you could because I mean, he, but if you were taking that, you wouldn't take plus 600. You would take this plus 700 because this is extra base hit. This would cover you for a double and a triple, too. Does that make sense? Because like someone else would hit a home run before he gets back up, probably, right? Yeah. Okay. You guys want to do it? All right, so O'Neill Cruz is plus 200 to strike out, and Taylor is plus 230. Taylor is a strikeout machine. It's been up 21 times this season. He struck out eight times. I mean, I guess O'Neill Cruz has been up 23 times. He struck out 11 times. So, I mean, there is that. I said, let's go him too. Pick him up. But uh, one more thing on on Josiah Gray, and then we're going to go. We'll just go ahead and put that in and then get the hell out of here. I think he strikes out righties. I think lefties smash him, if I remember right. No, he strikes out lefties. Huh. 79 strikeouts and 347 plate appearances. Yeah, I'm looking at that bats, Daniel. Yeah, D like Mastermind. Just we're like the type What's of gamble. We're the, I was talking to this guy, D Mastermind, who uh, said EV better than a strikeout and home run parlays. That's an anomaly. Yeah, we're like the guy who works out every day, but we also like to eat and drink at night. Yeah, nice. No, still get hammered. Yeah. Yeah, 79 strikeouts plus uh, – that's uh, 347 plate appearances – uh, that's for lefties, and then 64 strikeouts and 351 play appearances for righties. I think that means O'Neill Cruz is striking out. Oh, the catcher just went deep. All right. What are you eating? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sour Patch Kid. For Easter, they really got the individual rap ones. They're Jeff's like, going yeah, to have a field day. Mm-hmm. No, the blue ones are good. The green ones are good, too. I probably shouldn't eat on stream, though. No. Harder to call. Yeah. Mm. Jack's plus 190. All right, how I do mine, the first at bat, these prices are not correct. I'm telling you. I would say O'Neill Cruz, based on what uh, Josiah Gray throws, he's got a four seamer and a cutter, right? So I think it's Taylor. Cruz does get caught on the cutter, though. But Taylor doesn't hit any of that stuff. And he just struck out three times yesterday. I think we're safe to go Taylor. Let's go Taylor. I just hope to God Gray doesn't, you know. Well, after he gives up that bomb to Sawinski, he might be a little, might throw him off. Yep. No, he'll lock in. Uh, I will get him locked in like a punch to the face. Yeah. Focused. Yep. Exactly, exactly. Just like a fighter, you want to get punched in the face like immediately, just so you know you're fighting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, we're in a fight, you know, and then kind of lock in. But that's that first punch still landed. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna hit the button one more time, then we got to get out of here. Damn, all right, I'm sorry for we got like such a weak, um, a weak slate of plays. Like, damn, dude. We're gonna have days. But like dude, that. I'm not doing blocks and steals. I'm not doing that. Like I I don't know. You ever no, chase dude. around a guy on the um 
on the screen, like when you bet them, they would chase somebody around to get yeah. blocks and steal. It's the worst betting experience there is, dude. Like it's like this sucks. It's for the real DGENs. Yeah. I mean, we got four bets. Nothing's really huge. Kind of gets us going. We got to lock in for Friday anyways. I mean, because I'm telling you right now, I'm going to find something for tomorrow. Just There's just so many games. It, oh, yeah, like, this- it's our first real Friday night because last Friday it doesn't count because we hit that giant parlay the night before. So I was hung over. I wasn't even ready. No, tomorrow's going to oh, be nuts. Dude. I but know, man. but the problem is once we hit that home run parlay. We'll just have more money to gamble. What are you talking about? I didn't think about it. I'm going to be hung over again. Yeah. Because with a, Lewis Robert is his second one tonight, dude. With a lot more money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to be fired up. You can't just not start drinking beers, especially when you're out with your friends already drinking beers, and then you win a 10 grand on a parlay. Of course you're going to have a couple extra. There's Uber. We're fine. But then now I forgot about it. Like, we're going to win like $30,000 tonight. It's 45. Four, oh, fuck. I'm not even ready for that. All right, so those are the bets right there. That's all we got. Nothing else came up on that EV screen. So it's bogey. Darren Fox is under in points. Ellis ain't getting three rebounds. It's a hater night. Well, he might get three, but he's not getting four. Yeah, that's a valid point. Um, JMNYC. Dude, Lucy's doing her podcast, so she can't. Like, it's literally at the same time. So I'm thinking we might be able to move it one week for her and see what happens. But, yeah, what I would do if if I was you, ooh, Miles McBride under two and a half threes. You want to get our money back from the other night where he stiffed us? They might start chirping you again on Twitter. So, Yeah, I think it's Deuce, right? Doesn't Armand get mad when we call him Miles? Deuce. That's what his mom calls him. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want? But, all right. I'm not doing it. Um, and, anyways, anyways, um, here's what we'll do. Link in the description, promo code SLOP. Get Odds Jam. All right, get it right now. Hit refresh at 545. Do it from 545 to 645. I promise you, bangers are just going to pop up just because there's going to be news. Lineups are going to be solidified. It's going to be disgusting. You're going to love it. Here, hang on one second, Cold Cole. I'll get it for you. I should be able to remember it, but I can't. Here it is. It's on the screen. Jack Sawinski to hit two home runs. Lewis Robert to hit two home runs. Those guys are in my circle of trust, my personal circle of trust. Um, 20 gets you 36K. Oh, you only so put it's 20. A, I thought you put 20. Yeah, so it's a, it's a long shot. It's a little bit of a long shot, but – um. I think if two guys are going to do that today, it's going to be those two. I trust them. I just do. Jack has a right-hander. So, I mean, he automatically gets two home runs. Like, they sit him against lefties because he's that good against righties. Hang on, hang on. Let me get to you, Jaden. Yo, Slop, I just started the free trial, and it was fine yesterday. But now whenever I click on the EV tool, it takes me to a page that explains the tool. Oh, log in. You probably got logged out. I hate when it does that. Just go log back in. If you if you can't figure out what's wrong, if that doesn't fix it, Jaden, just uh, reach out to – I'll put the email here, contact at oddsjam.com. All right, yeah. No, we're going to keep this off of Twitter. There's a secret parlay. Every parlay that we do in here from now on is a secret parlay. It's just for us. Um, And then somebody else had one. Oh, what percentage you look for? I'd say anything over one is a great place to start. It no, no, depends. we got to keep it off. It's a, um, OBS. I can, what's that supposed to say? Obsidian skin. Oh, obsidian skin. I like it. Obsidian skin. You're right. I, I thought about it. You, we were talking about the other day, and you're right. You guys are right. We keep it off. Man deep. It also depends on what state you're in. Like I'm in Jersey and I never go below like 3%, but that's just because I have so many above it. Like where slop is, he doesn't, he's on not as fortunate as that. So, you know, you might go a little lower. So it depends on, you know, how many bets you have. Making fun of me for being a poor. I'm sorry. It happens. I know. 
I, I, I would, I'd make fun of poor people too if I was rich. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Also, two K, you're asking what we got. We only got four. Like, so I'm sorry. I wish we had more, but we only got four. I'm not gonna force the issue. Sometimes we can only have $185 out, which is, I mean, I feel like a real poor now. Jesus. It is an important lesson. Don't force it when it's not there because it'll always um, be tomorrow. Is this a spot to get slops picked? Yeah. I mean, well, this is what well, we're using the uh, Odds Jam Positive EV tool while we're in here. So these are what popped up today. There's only four. I wish there was more, but there's not. Um, no, I know. I know what you're saying. I've seen skin. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thunderdome, 11 a.m. It's where we're going to uh, record it. Nigel usually gets it out around lunchtime, so he's very quick. So that should be around noon. There's going to be a live stream just like this one at 4 p.m. So there's going to be that. Um, there's a lot of MLB tomorrow uh, and, and NBA. So tomorrow should be like a really good day, like really good. It could be the greatest day of our lives. But the thing is, today might be the greatest day because, dude, Jack just needs to hit two and Lewis Robert needs to hit two. That's it. That's all we need. Like, that could be like 30 something thousand dollars. Like, that's crazy. Oh, Sean, dude, you're the man. Thank you. Please like this stream if you're here, but that helps. My bosses, they, they're like, slop, how come no one likes this stuff? If you like it, they won't ask that. You know what I mean? And um, also, no, J Dub, the, the Thunderdome's not a live stream. It's it's recorded, but it's very it, it, it's a quick turnaround for Nigel. Guy's like a wizard. Yeah, it'll be um, out around noon. So yeah, Jay. Go ahead. Yeah, it'll be around noon. And if um if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe now. That's the other thing. But that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck tonight. And if you find something, man, like tag me on Twitter. Let me know what it is. Like, because I Dude, we have four bets, so I'm going to obviously need more. So let me know. Later, guys. Take it easy, everybody.